If you run a web design agency and you're kind of stuck, you haven't been able to scale, maybe you're charging a bit too cheap or your margins are low. In this video, I'm going to show you how I run my web design agency that makes 10K per month at 94% profit margins. So this is kind of how I run my 11K per month solo web design agency. The main thing here is with a web design agency, you don't want your costs to be too high. So if you have employees, contractors, all that stuff, that's going to bring your margins very low. And so how do we do this in a more efficient way? Now, kind of in the earlier stages of my web design agency, I was making maybe like two to $3,000 a month. But the problem is, is that I was very capped out and I was really burnt out. So not only could I not make any more money because I couldn't take on more clients, but I was working a lot of hours and I felt like I was kind of stuck. Now, at the time, I was pretty much taking any client that I could. So anybody that wanted a website, I would build them a website. I wasn't very picky. And let's say they had a small budget. I would still work with them. I was just trying to get as many clients as I could so that I could hopefully make more money. And so I was pretty much taking any client at the time. And of course I was doing all the fulfillment myself and kind of the way I was running the agency is 70% of my time I was spending like actually doing fulfillment. So building the websites, doing client communication, all that stuff. And then maybe about 30% of the time, the only time that I had left, I was spending kind of marketing and trying to get new business. And so what ended up happening is because I was taking any type of client that would come through the door, every project was very hands-on and it was taking a lot of time to do fulfillment. So if you think about it, like I was building a website, probably take me like, two to maybe three weeks to get it done. And because I wasn't specialized, I was charging very cheap. So 500 bucks, a thousand bucks. And so scaling is really hard. Once you take on a couple of those big clients, I was pretty much capped out. So 2000, maybe 2,500 bucks a month. Now, another big problem that I faced in the beginning is because I was just trying to get business, I would take on any client on any sort of platform. And so I've actually built websites on Square. I think they call it Square Up. I build website on Squarespace. The type of websites that I'm good at building is kind of like service type of websites, like landscaping, HVAC, those kind of stuff. But one of the clients reached out to me through a referral and they wanted a Shopify website. And at the time I was just trying to get clients, even though I'm not really good at building Shopify websites, I still agreed to it. Eventually the deal didn't go through, but I was pretty much down to take whatever sort of client. Squarespace, SquareUp, Shopify, also Go Ahead Level at the time I was building with Go Ahead Level. And so I was just building on whatever platform, whatever type of client that I could get, even like whatever type of budget. So if somebody had like 300 bucks, I would try to make it work 500 bucks. I'll do whatever it took. And so I did this for a little while, but the problem is I couldn't keep scaling. And that's kind of when I burnt out. I was kind of operating all by myself. And I was pretty much keeping most of the money, like 90 plus percent profit margin. The only thing that I was spending is maybe like a bit of software, the emails, my domains, that kind of stuff. But honestly, I was operating pretty much at 100% profit. Now, at this point, I was pretty capped out and I just didn't know what to do to keep scaling. But the only thing that came to mind is maybe I'm just so capped out that I need somebody else to help me do fulfillment. And so what I thought at the time is I'm going to be a team member, which in reality was just a contractor to help me do some of the websites so that I could take on more projects and make more money. And so this is kind of where I started making a little bit more, like maybe three to 4K a month. And this is when I hired my first employee, which was just a contractor. He was really good at building websites. He was very skilled. But at this point, I hadn't realized that one of the problems that I had is that I was taking any sort of client, different budgets, very different niches. And so every project was very hands-on, building from scratch, doing a lot of client communication, doing a lot of revisions, taking off very different types of clients that needed very different types of websites. And so the strategy here was I was gonna take half of the clients and then the other half I would give them to my contractors who could help me build them. And of course I would have to pay them, but I could take on more websites now. And so at the time I was doing about 50% of the fulfillment myself and the other 50, my contractor was helping me out. Now, the thing that ended up happening is yes, I was able to get more clients. Now I had a contractor, I had a bit of leverage, but the problem was is that I started operating at like 60% profit margins as opposed to like 90 plus. And so the reason why is if you think about it, like let's say I was charging like a thousand bucks for a website, I had to pay my contractor at least 40 to 50% because of the nature of web design. Like building websites takes a lot of time. And we're taking all kinds of different niches. These clients had a lot of requests, revisions, all that stuff. Building a website that takes you one or two weeks, you're not gonna do it for anything cheaper than maybe four or 500 bucks if you're a contractor, because that's just literally your time. You're putting in like five hours a day, six hours a day for like five days, six days, seven days to do fulfillment. You can't charge anything cheaper than 500 bucks. And so for me, I was keeping, let's say 50% of the $1,000, maybe on the higher end 60%, but my margins just completely dropped. So sure, if you compare like this to this, like I was making two to three K a month, now I'll make a bit more three to four K, 
but my margins tanked. I had way more clients, way more headaches, way more communication. Now I have to handle a contractor as well, deal with the communication on that end as well. And my margins completely dropped. And so this is kind of where I started doing things differently. I started operating solo once again, but I started deploying leverage. And I explain in a second what I mean by that and how I was able to do it. But one of the big changes that I did is I simplified my services. And so at the time I was thinking like all sort of clients, like if somebody came with Shopify website, I would build it right now. Like I wouldn't take e-commerce websites cause that's just not my specialty. That's not what I'm good at. And so I kind of niched down I specialized, I picked a few service niches, service-based businesses that I could actually help out and that I was actually good at. And so I started only taking clients that I knew how to fulfill with ease. So this is a big thing right here. And so what this meant was like a few niches. Now I started deploying leverage and I'll explain in a second kind of what this means because this was the key. I started actually deploying leverage with my services and I started charging more. And how I started charging more is because now I was specialized. So because I wasn't helping just anybody looking for a website, I could become more specialized and charge a bit more. I niched down on a few service niches and I was charging more. And so what that led is I brought my margins back up because I didn't have team members. I didn't have contractors. I didn't have any of that stuff. So my profit margins went back up to 94%. I was keeping most of the money myself. And now I started doing more marketing so I can get more clients. And I was only building about 30% of the time that I was spending on the business. So about 65% of the time I was marketing and then 35% of the time I was just actually building and I was actually doing service delivery. And so that's kind of how I reached 11K per month. Now I'm going to explain what that actually looked like and how I deployed leverage, how I specialized, all that stuff. So the main thing that I wanted to fix when I was kind of stuck in between these two stages is my contractor was very expensive. And so... The nature with web design is kind of tricky because if you're building websites, it takes time and time, like you can only charge so little on your time. If you're a contractor, if you're a fulfillment agency. So if you think about it, like for every website that I sell, I have to lose 50% of my margin on it just on fulfillment. That's just not a sustainable business. So what I realized is I have to figure out to charge the same amount of money, but be able to do fulfillment very quickly without needing a contractor so that I can keep up and get more clients. And so how I did it is I found a way to leverage certain aspects of my service delivery. So one of the big ones is I realized that building on go high level, while the editor is not great, it's not perfect, you know, Squarespace, there's a lot of like really cool editors, but the problem with those editors is you can't really like clone websites, deploy them to different sub accounts, none of that stuff. And so what I realized with go high level, we had an edge. Go high level, I could deploy a website to a client. I could clone it, keep a master version to myself, I could clone it to another client, quickly edit it. And so that gave us leverage. And so one of the things that I realized is I'm only going to take clients that I accept to build on go high level. I'm not going to take any clients that's doing Squarespace, Square App, Wix, Shopify, none of that stuff. I'm going to specialize on one platform. For me, just go high level made the most sense. And just by changing platforms that helped me get a bit more leverage, get some of my time back, simplify my processes. Now, the next thing I did is if you remember, I talked about I was taking any sort of client that would come through. So what I did is I compressed my service offerings to very specific niches. And so what that meant is I created nine very specific niches that I knew I could service. So for instance, that was like landscaping. That was one of the niches that I picked. Another one was car detail. So these are very similar niches. The other one was like solar. And so I built nine websites that I built as a master template on Go High Level. And because with Go High Level, you can clone them, deploy them to different sub accounts, different clients, that saved me a lot of time. And so essentially what I did is I productized part of the process of service delivery so that if I get a new client and I know it's within the niches that I serve, so landscaping, car details, solar, like maybe like a restaurant, that kind of stuff, I can just grab one of my templates and deploy it to that client very quickly edited myself on the back end, but it's going to be much quicker than if I just grab like a random niche, like let's say e-commerce for sunglasses that I've never built a website for that before. I'm going to have to build everything from scratch. With this, the cool thing is I knew the type of clients that I was going after. I knew the type of clients that I could service. And so I'll just look for those type of clients and I already had my websites ready to go. All I had to do was go and go high level, clone the website, deploy it to their sub account and then just edit it very quickly. Now, the other aspect that I wanted to productize was how we added cool effects on Go High Level. So in Go High Level, the website editor is not that good yet. So what we did is created custom effects with code. So we can just copy paste them into different websites and deploy them. And so that is another aspect that we productize with our service delivery that bought us tons of time. So we don't have to code the websites from scratch. We can just go to a quick tutorial, copy paste it, and then deploy it to the client. And so what that did is not only did it make our websites very easy to fulfill, quickly quick edits then we add the code on top they look super high-end but it made our service delivery way faster 
And so back then when I had a contractor, let's say it took me 10 days to deliver the website. This was with a contractor. Now it took me maybe three to five days on the high end by myself. But the thing is here, I was keeping about 50% of the profit. Here, I was keeping about 94% of the profit. So not only was it faster, but I was keeping more of the profit for myself. And so I was able to take on more clients that are easier to fulfill, that I could keep most of the profit for myself without needing to hire a contractor. And that's kind of what is cool about running a website agency when you have leverage, is that it simplifies your service delivery. Is I was able to deliver websites, honestly, within 24 hours, maybe three to four, maybe five days on the high end. And these were websites that were way easier to fulfill. The other thing is now I kind of sell and then I deploy the website as opposed to before I was selling the website and then I was building from scratch, doing the service delivery and taking me like two to three weeks. I was always like building from zero. Now it's more of like a, I sell the service and then I deploy the website. And again, I'm no longer building different platforms. I'm only building on go ahead level and I'm only taking clients that I can actually help. So what this meant is actually turning down clients. Like sometimes I'll hop on a call. And if I know it's not the right fit, I won't take on the client. Before I would just take anybody that was willing to pay me, I would take their money. Now I'm kind of a bit more picky and I only take clients that I can actually help. But most of all, because I already have my Goi level templates, my master templates ready to go, then I no longer have to build from scratch. Now to give you kind of an example of what this looks like in real life, if you wanted to implement something like this in your business, something that happened maybe last week or two weeks ago. And so I signed a client and what he was looking for was a sales funnel for his business. Something very simple, three pages, so the actual sales funnel, a book page, and then a thank you page. So very simple. So I just charge a thousand dollars upfront. Before I couldn't have been able to charge a thousand. I would have had to charge a bit more just because I had a contract and stuff. But now because I keep most of profit and I know it's going to be quick, I charge them a thousand dollars upfront. And like I was saying before that I have the master templates ready to go. I already have a sales funnel in here that I picked and I chose my sales funnel. And all I had to do is just quickly edit it on go ahead level. Now the editing itself took me about two hours. He already had the copy. He already had the photos that he wanted, his logo. So I just plugged that into the template very quickly. Now, once I did that within like two hours, I just added like some custom effects, nothing much because it's just a sales funnel, but kind of what I was telling you about that we productized the code that I just copy paste a couple effects to make the funnel just a little bit better. That took me maybe like 30 minutes. And once I did that by end of day, I deployed the funnel for him in pretty much less than 24 hours, which is crazy. So he paid me a thousand dollars and I deployed this in 24 hours. And this was just done by productizing the service delivery, just helping myself out so that I don't have to build this funnel from scratch. I already have the funnel ready to go at the three steps ready to go. So homepage, booking page, thank you page. And all I have to do is just quickly change the text, add a bit of code, swap the graphics, put his logo and that's it. So right now, I assume if you're watching this video, you're already running your agency on go ahead level. So what I would do if I was you, if you're running a web design agency or you have web design as one of your services, one of your upsells, is just build your own master templates so you never have to build from scratch. And a lot of web design agencies are already specialized. I know a lot of web design agencies do like dentists or med spas or chiropractors. So if you already have your specialization, that already makes it easier. You just build a couple of really good templates for that niche and then you can just deploy them to all your clients and them very quickly, but they're all ready to go. And if you think about it, like let's say you're taking dentist, a dentist website is pretty similar overall. Homepage, about us, book now, and our services, like it's pretty standardized. So if you're helping a specific niche, that just makes it easier with your service delivery. Regardless, whether you have full on website agency or if you're selling websites as an upsell or a cross sell or just one of your different services for your agency. Now as a quick shameless plug, if you wanted to save yourself the time of building the websites on your own, I've already built like nine really high end websites, the ones I've actually sold to my clients. You can just buy them from my link in bio if you wanna save yourself time or if you wanna build your own, that's totally fine. Here's my workflow. If you wanna stay organized and be able to deliver websites quickly, how I run my agency is very simple. I hop on a Zoom call very quickly with my clients this is usually about 30 minutes and in this call i'll try to close the clients nowadays for the most part i just charge 100 percent of the website up front so i'll receive payment right here and then what i'll do is just something very simple no crazy automations on that stuff i already have a quick template kind of what i was talking about like productizing your service delivery i also productize my onboarding quote unquote so i have a quick template it has like maybe five questions that I ask my clients like what's the copy what's the services you offer what kind of pages do you want do you have any photos logos that kind of stuff just very simple stuff that i send through a quick email and then my client will just reply to that email with everything that i need and then i'll do what i just talked about which is deploy the template edit it very quickly add the code 
add the stuff that I received from this email. So the copy, the logos, the branding, the colors, that stuff. And then I'll send it over for revisions. With revisions, it usually takes about a day or two, kind of depending on how quickly the client works with me. What I'll do is I'll just send them a quick Loom video and the link to the preview of the website so they can check out the website, take a look, anything they don't like, anything, any photos they want to change, any copy they want to change, then they'll just let me know. And there we go. That's it. Now, this could take one to maybe three days. And on the high end, this could be five days, depending on usually this stage is what takes the longest is revisions. So if the client's a little bit more picky, they want more revisions, then it could take a couple of days. For the most part, we're aiming between three to four days to deliver the websites like fully done. But there it is. That's how I run my 10K plus agency with go ahead level at 94% profit margins. And if you want to do the same thing, you want to start selling websites to your go ahead level clients, then just click the first link in bio and you can get all of my templates, these master templates that took me months to build out, you can just get all of them and start selling them to your own clients. With that, I'll see you on my next video.